Once I hit that live button. No diddy. Bro, I think you're live. Oh. Yo, what up? It's Donut, and you tuning in to all your Illuminati news. We got an amazing show for you tonight. As you can see, I'm here at the Homoncologist, the one-on-one -on -one podcast, hosting it. We're one-on-one -on -one here in the flesh. We are here. Bring bring on the homun homunculus. Let's round of applause, everybody. Look at that camera work. Fine camera work. High five. Let me show them. Look at that. That's, that's real. That's man. real. It's real. It's real. Yep. Stop moving so much, Donut, because the, the, the focus is going. I need you still. Okay. Bro. We'll look, see how long that lasts. You look so good. Look at that lighting. I mean, fantastic job. I've worked in, like, video production my whole life, and you really nailed it. You got the, the foreground. You got me lit, making my skin look better than it really uh, is. I'm going to have to go in there and, and, and touch the, the screen to focus on you, bro. So keep do your thing. Do your thing. Yeah. So we're going to get into some wild news. The eclipse rituals are approaching. It is the Wicked Smot anniversary of when I released Wicked Smot for Dummies on this journey over a year long journey, reading books, getting smot, interviewing intelligent people creating homunculuses and right now i'm in florida i'm going to be going to the sam tripoli show kicking it with him so shout out to the tinfoil at we just doing big things and right now i'm in the homunculus studio we're going to go over illuminati news we're going to go over a lot the homunculus headquarters and i will be opening up for sam tripoli tomorrow first time ever doing stand-up don't it you're gonna do great you're gonna do good am i gonna break my leg <laughs> what a bad thing to tell somebody like break break a leg I right love, i love how my lighting is the one look how nice you look Juan so is. much better than me bro it's i'm so you just mad gotta get closer to the camera yeah right there you gotta make sure you in frame yeah you look good you look good <laughs> but look dude you're glowing today bro are you pregnant uh no I, no I, I got look bro i put i seriously i've been putting uh uh i want you guys to know that like, it's like a vaseline I'll no no no. tell the truth donut donut literally did like an entire skin routine before coming on onto the street i do it every day because it's not skin routine i got psoriasis all over my face i've like had it since a kid and i put like I, this my barber's like was scared to even like shave me she's like yo 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 are you okay and i'm like yeah <laughs> She's like, you got to put aquifer on your face. So that's why I'm all shiny. I got the aquifer. These are the behind the scenes stuff that you see. And I and I saw Donut just like scrubbing his face and doing all this stuff, bro. You want to floss too. That's you want to floss too? Yeah, you want to floss or brush your teeth before you go on live as well. That's another, another trick, you know. And most uh, guys you see on the news and TV shows, they weren't foundation makeup mm. i'm not you're not but that most guys do jfk was elected like because of the makeup that was a big part and by the way people can you give us a one or a thumbs up if if we sound good because i am running a new setup brand new mic for donut we got a new mic we got uh <laughs> bro i'm so we're excited. so scripted we got a teleprompter bro we got everything bro, dude. dude this is sick i gotta take a picture bro because this is legendary me and juan been podcasting for over two years and now we're here in the studio together i gotta get a chan let donut come to florida so say hi to the we got it and it's funny you just got a brand new water and my water runs out as soon as we start the stream <laughs> you, you can have some it's all good i'll go get we'll another one here after we'll share it but yeah dude, all right we got ones we sound good yeah so donut in the flesh what's up dude tomorrow we're gonna be in the summerfield or summerdale florida something like that at the joke joint i will be doing an opening for Tripoli. my first time ever doing stand-up so for those showing up awesome we'll see you there tomorrow a whole bunch of other people are going to be there. Nephilim Death Squad, Paranoid American. Who else? Jose Gonzalez. Who else is going to be there? Project Cheney. Project Cheney is going to be there. A bunch of people. It's going to be a great time. And if I bomb, I bomb in front of friends, right? So yeah, yeah. it'll be. I'm going to have fun though, bro. You're going to do good. I did my first stand up with Alex Stein. How'd that I, feel? Well, he came up to me. He approached me. He said, Alex. 
donut you're a comedian would you like to perform <laughs> like right before the set and i said absolutely because that's what you're supposed to say you're supposed to say if alex stein asked you, yeah, i will say absolutely yeah absolutely i will alex stein and then i went up on stage sung my trash song i wrote a song about taking out the trash and i just failed miserably no one liked it so let's get into it donut the yeah. illuminati news that's what everybody is here that's for. what they're here for and we have almost a thousand people close to about 800 something people watching right now so right what are we what's going on donut i know that april 8th through 10th is when this the eclipse is four four eight right that's when the eclipse is right. and it's interesting that four eight through 10 was when crowley made contact with iowas right right Alistair crowley co Alex, communicated yeah. with some extraterrestrial demon or something like that what happened yeah so that's where they got that's where he got the download for his the, the book of the law which is essentially like the bible of oh, the thelemic system so it's interesting that all these things are going down cern is going to be cranking up because we know that's like a modern day tower of babel type right. of thing where they're cl look at the the spidey verse right we talked about the freemasonic spider men sort right. of concept right and after that, that spider-man is a freemasonic concept bro i mean we looked at it we looked at it we, bohemian grove says spiders don't hang out over yeah, here yeah <laughs> no what is it no but sp weaving spiders welcome something like that and and after that episode i had a few people hit me up that were like talking about when they had sent something up into the sky and when it came down it was covered in in webs bro wow so something about again this cosmic web sort of thing there's the mythology that there's this spider goddess weaving reality into existence so there's something to that and while this entire eclipse is going on they're going to be shooting rockets <laughs> towards the moon right they're going to be doing and that's an occult thing as well so the rockets they're shooting up they're calling it a pep well that goes back to a serpent a pep that's where we get oh that's i thought that, i thought you were telling me like uh a like an acronym like you know like the a pep and i was like what is that and now it's like a pep like a, the serpent like the serpent and, yeah and i mean that's where we get you know most likely pepsi comes from this like whole serpent thing that goes deep and they're titling it the serpent and nasa is like a serpent and cern it's got the 666 in the logo and they're opening up portals to other dimensions that's what even at CERN, there's all these photos of clouds opening you can get up. a little bit closer to the mic. Huh? Even at CERN, it's okay, bro. Uh, they were opening up different. It's okay. They were okay. opening. <laughs> they were. <laughs> they were. Oh, yeah, just if you're comfortable for me, then I'll. I'll yeah, I got you. I got you. So at CERN, when they activate it, I got some info that nobody broke. You're going to hear it first at the Donut Factory that when they open up the portals, you got all these weird clouds in the sky over CERN. Well, after reading The Demon and the Ecker by Oxford scholar, Dr. Farrell, he went into the hypothesis. If <laughs> you <laughs> he, be serious, bro, what's up? He, I, I'm hearing my voice. He went into the hypothesis if plasma could be an intelligent life form so you interviewed him for that no nah, i wish i would oh, you love read the to book. oh my goodness yeah i read the book you can get him on bro i'm gonna get he's him probably on. watching right now shout out to shout out to joseph P. Yeah. What? uh but yeah um so the clouds that hover over cern once they activate it like that could be intelligent life the the plasma yeah. right the lightning but well, also I'll, I'll i'll get into it it's, crazy. it's so the plasma life forms that that is one of my favorite researchers vincent vincent bridges rest in peace where he talked about the ophanim the the angel beings the enochian entities being plasma beings and that the enochian language is meant to manipulate these plasma beings in some sort of way and it's interesting because i, I was talking about it yesterday on old world florida off the coast of florida there was a concentration of over four, th close to 4,000 lightning strikes in a concentrated area, right? So what are the chances? Recently? The 27th, two days ago. 
Okay. 327, uh, 24. Coast of Florida. Lightning strike Lightning. Uh, cluster. And, and it'll come up there. And maybe we share the screen uh, of my screen. You can pull it up. I'll, I'll pull yeah. it up. Yeah. And then I could, we could show the, the articles. I got my screen there on on the left. Um, <laughs> you got a bunch of screens. <laughs> I got a lot of screens, but it's the one on the very far left, I believe. This one. There you go right there. Yeah, so we 4, can go. Because there's something when, when you read about Parsons. And what, when he was doing magic at the parsonage and doing these rituals, he would, the weather would change, don't it? Like they would manipulate the weather. There were magicians in history that were known for manipulating the weather in order to water crops and, and grow other different things. So this concept of harp, it's not just geo engineering type of thing. Like there's, there's some occult aspect to that. Because they were doing magic and practicing magic back then to manipulate the weather. So the sky changing over CERN as they crank this thing up. And think about it, Donna. They're doing what they're, they're colliding particles to find the Higgs boson. And allegedly the way it works that when they find the Higgs boson, they've essentially tapped into another realm because of the mass of that particle. So the Higgs boson has a, a mass in our dimension. And if you pick one up that has a different mass, then essentially you've brought it from a different dimension. That's how it works. So in the Spider-Man movie, where literally the Spider-Men oversee all the other realities. And they had that sort of collider in that movie as well, where it opened up a rift. It's in, in space a lot of movies. You got in yeah. Stranger Things, who's the kid's birthdays on 322. They're part of the Hell's Fire Club, which is the satanic. That's where Crowley got his motto, do what thy will. Mm -hmm. This is where Abraham Lincoln, uh, John Wilkes Booth, his grandfather was part of the satanic group. Uh, ben Franklin was part of it as well, but I guess he was spying on them because espionage is kind of how the world is run. You know, and, and that ties into the occult too, that all these occultists were also spies. Like they were no, mm. like John D with the first 007. And if right. you look at the James Bond series, the whole franchise, bro, it's got a whole tarot deck and everything. Like the guy that created the series has its own tarot deck. Damn. I that's, didn't know that. Brother, that's what I'm serious. Look at, I'm like, what in the world? Like what does a tarot deck have anything to do with James Bond? But when you go back in history and start studying the, bro, all of them. William Shakespeare was allegedly a spy too. Aleister Crowley was Aleister a spy. Crowley. Shout out to Rick Spence. We just interviewed him. He's a, we work uh, as a history professor and he did a secret society course as well. But this is what's crazy, bro, about the, the CERN being activated the day the eclipse is happening on 4-8, right? The day that Crowley communicated with this being. Well, if we go back in time a little bit, when CERN was activated in 2022 on July 5th, uh, Suix Falls, where Mount Rushmore is, and also uh, Joseph Farrell lives out in Suix Falls. I believe it was. Shout, out, shout out to him again. South Dakota turned green the day CERN was activated. So April 8th, my prediction is that we're going to see an aura borealis back and, and Sioux Falls because there are uncovering dark matter. Or you're not, Donut, because that's the whole point of the eclipse. It's going to put everything in darkness so they can do whatever they want for that time being, and no one's going to know if it did turn green or not. I, I don't know. I don't really understand how moons and suns work, but yeah, I guess it goes dark for like four <laughs> minutes in some places. The National Guard's being called out. It's uh, it's nuts. And it's sus. It's sus, and there's all this predictive programming in movies and books like uh, one second after that we were telling everybody about a couple days ago. Uh, but this is crazy right here, though. In 2022, CERN was last activated. The day was activated. South Dakota turned green. But South Dakota, they're doing something interesting there. They're finding dark matter. They're digging for dark matter out there in South Dakota. So I think there's a connection to this dark matter mysteries unraveled by researchers in underground South Dakota mine. You can see this is all posted the same time CERN was activated. Now, this is what's even more interesting is this is also the same time that Elon met with the Pope. 
because he went to the Vatican. Did he really? Yeah, he went to the Vatican to meet with the Pope. And the Vatican isn't that far away from CERN. Like you can take an airplane trip, be there and really quickly. Or you could even probably like take one of his boring tunnels down mm-hmm. there and get there even faster. So I think that's interesting too. Yeah, that is. I didn't I didn't even know that. Look, can, can you pull that picture back up of, of Elon and yeah, how, t- how, t- how tall is the Pope? <laughs> how t- look at how big those dudes feet are compared to his height so man yeah let me check on the stream see how we doing up in here everybody make sure to see, yeah okay we're doing pretty good we got over a thousand people up in here i want to remind everybody to smash that like button every time we crash through a thousand i want to remind y'all to smash that like button and share the video out people are asking where's chan bro the chat is popping off Where's Chan? Chan, someone down in the southwest. Blah, blah, blah. Woo, woo. <laughs> yeah, we just hit 1,500 people. Hit that like. Smash that like. Smash that like. All shout that out to Poop. Much, much love. Shout out, shout out. Yeah. yeah. So what else you got, Donut? Because I know things are fixing a ramp up. Do you think it's, you think something's actually going to happen? You think it's a nothing burger? Like, what do you think is, is. Well, something, yeah, absolutely. There's I mean, a lot of things lining up together yes. in like one cluster mm-hmm. yeah. and even eat think about it don't eat. and even all right let's let's everything aside everyone's focusing their attention to this particular spot in the sky whatever that is right because i know sometimes space is fake and gray right <laughs> and so it's like everyone's like the balloons where when the balloons were showing up like oh look look at it it's in our airspace everyone was focusing on that one point in time and then they would destroy it that that was the burning of the sigil that was the destroying of that sigil to solidify it in the ether right for forever right so by everybody focusing on this eclipse that's going to go over i think the last eclipse i was talking about it last night went over a bunch of cities named salem we have the whole salem witch trials and, and everything going on there and then is it Nin, Nineveh that mm-hmm. that's that they're going to be crossing over x marks the spot where's the x at yeah, the X goes over Texas. All my X's are Ooh. in Texas. And this is the day that CERN's going to be activating the search for invisible matter. I mean, there's a huge connection there. What it say that secretly powers our universe? Is that what it says? Invisible matter that secretly powers our universe. I love the... I, I'm a sucker for a good title. Like And like, you know, like titles that embellish things. So when I read the ball, I was like, damn, that's great. That's well, we got to hire that person to do the titles for us. I mean, your titles are pretty good too, but yeah, it's all about the title. You got, if you want to start a YouTube channel, you got to be good at titles, but I think that they like stopped it. It's not in this article, but I got a slide where they stopped CERN on three, two, two as well. And like stranger things is all about that. As we see the total solar eclipse, National Guard to be deployed amid safety concerns. Is there something going to happen as NASA's shooting up rockets at the eclipse and they're calling the mission APEP right here? This is that serpent deity, the pretty much the deity of disorder, right? Uh, just like Set, right? This is setians right you got the temple of set right you got that michael quino satanic which psychological operation shout out to ani he ani. told me that I, yes. I believe his wife owns hp lovecraft's library like his collection oh snap. which i didn't i mean and and that's about again these cosmic entities that drive people insane and are able to destroy reality and the fact that not CERN, but the people that mess around with quantum computers, they've talked about bringing these old ones with the use of quantum computing into right. our into our space and that they're not going to care about us how we don't care about an ant. And that's going to be AI, this entity. You know, we're, we're essentially forming this Frankenstein, this golem, right, that can potentially take us out. That, that's been the archetypal story of frankenstein your creation takes you out and if it doesn't take you out you take yourself out in that process of creating that thing mm-hmm. 
Like, look at Parsons. Parsons blew himself up. Mm-hmm. And so right. there's lure behind that. Like, did he really destroy himself? Was that really him that they went to go pick up? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we did this this episode one time, probably like two or three years ago, where we had a forensic astrologer. She did the forensic astrology on it. And she she was able to pull away that it was like, you know, something about mimicking some like a facade sort of thing i have to go back and listen to it you're but, talking about jack parson doing the babylon workings out in the desert yeah Pasadena but when he was something when he was part of hollywood doing the special effects right, right? oh in the, okay and the fireworks he allegedly dropped some explosives and blew half the house up the neighbor's house felt the you know like the the p the grand piano jumped in the air and all this stuff allegedly allegedly and then they went to go pick up some guy that was missing half of his appendages damn half his face almost like a batman movie type of thing right like that that one right so do we really know that was him how mm-hmm. do we know he didn't escape and go somewhere else and and move to another country or something you know mm-hmm. so there's a lot of missing pieces there but I think this has all been written out, Donut. I, I saw something about the face on Mars. Have you heard about anything like that? Is it the face yeah, on the sure. moon? Yeah, the faces. You know, you got the bunny on the moon. You know, these astrological alignments are full of symbolism, and it goes back. I mean, this is how I was able to predict the balloons and the alien disclosures, the aliens landing on the Illuminati Day, May 1st, 5-1. That's why you got the Area 5-1, Area 51, or even the girl on the plane on national ufo day seven two the actual founding of america was seven two but they changed it to july 4th was that on on ufo day that it was girl? on ufo day july 2nd it's national ufo day very important to the rothschilds because they put it in their magazine that this is going to be an important day there's two days for national ufo day it is july 2nd seven two you got 72 bricks on the back of the pyramid you know the 72 demons and 72 names of god you know all that but uh also june 24th is also uh, another ufo day and that is john the baptist day and that's a big knight's templar day mm-hmm. for the decapitation mm-hmm. i love this microphone bro i never get to do this i never get somebody that- was like i love the new setup well <laughs> do y'all like this new audio it's not bro this is should i get me a microphone everybody let the people decide yeah I like it. This is so cool. Um, But also we did a podcast on the eclipse. If you want to share the slide, uh, the second slide, I'll share it real quick and then I'll change it um, because it's the 420 eclipse. There was a 420 eclipse right here. And then I'll change it because it's kind of uh, some imagery there that is don't want up too long, but um that was an interesting podcast that we did. I don't know if you remember it, but we were going over. Yeah. I'm just reading. I'm reading the comments. Apparently we're shills. <laughs> <laughs> comments are going crazy. This is unwatchable. I'm out, bro. This guy's been in here for the last 23 minutes and he just now left. Bye. Can you block that guy? Uh, I don't think I, I have the c- capability. He's probably coming from your channel, not my channel. No, that's definitely your channel. No, my channel tight. My channel, they, they cool. Oh, let me see here. I, I never block anybody. Unless yeah, they this, be saying, this like, comment is on a guest destination. Me. Only your guest can delete the comment. Go to your go to your thing and just ban that guy. I'm tired of seeing his, his name <laughs> pop up on the chat, bro. Look at this guy. Okay. No, no, they mad. I don't know. If I see him pop up again, I will. Uh, sir, will you please type again <laughs> so I could? You see him on there? Yeah. Oh. You see him? He says thank you, Donna. Yeah. If you want me to, I'll just, I'll just, um, I'm, I'll put you in a timeout. <laughs> well, should... no no yeah there you go <laughs> you, you've been put in time out there you go. i was tired of seeing that guy he's been going at it for 25 minutes now it's oh, we get okay. it you yeah. don't like the channel get out It'll be thank back. you yeah. so the 420 the 420 allegedly was when we know it's the birthday of a 
person in history, right, that did very bad things. And also it was a part of the allegedly allegedly right that's because we don't even know if history, of course, of course if, if history is real or not right of course he was the the 420 was part of when crowley was doing some ceremonies and he got in touch with i want to say was lamb i have to double check but that was the gray looking alien entity that kind of looks like the one you have behind you right now he opened up a portal because they were doing it was a form of cannabis okay that they were doing and it was during this 420 uh, uh ceremony or thing that they were doing so he got in touch with these little gray entities or entity and i find it interesting that all oh, this is happening near 420 what's this well, this was part of our presentation. These are just when was this, but we've done so many presentations. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I mean, it's crazy. So, uh, Crowley was doing all these different mind altering chemicals, and even the mind altering substances people are intaking today, like Smirnoff, right there, is secret society symbolism. Uh, even the the leaf of the 420 cannabis uh, is the eight pointed star of Ishtar. Uh, I mean, to me, it, it looks like that. Uh, the burning bush, I heard, I think we went into it, how it could have been a wait, a hemp plant or something like that. I don't remember. I've heard it's, it was an acacia tree. An acacia tree. An okay. acacia tree is high in DMT. Oh, so how do you say DMT? Di... Electron yeah. Did you hit the button? I, I got it. Yeah, I got a button for that. I don't even know how to say it. Let me see here. So dimethyltryptamine. <laughs> dimethyltryptamine. 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 But this was pushed on our culture heavily, right? 100%, yeah. So, so like Dr. Dre, he's in the news. He just got the Hollywood star and 50 Cent bow down to him. He put, you know, bow down. This is recent. Come to your town, bow down. Yeah. I, <laughs> I went to went there, there, there. Because then ain't a flare that you try to. Uh, so you always yeah. do this, donut. Sorry. So yeah, Dr. Uh, 50 Cent, shout out to 50. Um, shout out to Dr. Narco Longo too. Shout out to Dr. Narco Longo. Hope you could be hang out with him because I'm trying to become an Astro Chad. <laughs> I know I got a lot of work to do. But uh, so anyway, uh, the Diddy, no Diddy kind of, you know, uh, this was what pushed on my culture, at least for the 90s and the 2000s, was the chronic right the chronic is uh, something that the hashashins would mm -hmm. smoke uh they would uh go out and commit uh, way so acts of, so chronic as as far as the plant goes as or as far as the plant goes chronic okay. Right? okay that was what was pushed yeah. on me and everybody around me everybody in the world really because mm -hmm. this becomes universal and especially now that it's been legalized in a lot of places Right. And who knows what they've done to manipulate to manipulate them. Right. So it's like, oh, oh, it's a good thing that they've legalized it, is it? Because now you're ingesting what's being controlled by the government. Right. But also the symbolism goes deeper than just the plant. So chronic comes from Kronos, which is Saturn. Mm -hmm. So the Kronos, the chronic, and even in their performance put on by geronimo films production and the skull and bones skull is geronimo skull allegedly that they have this big skull there it's called the chronic and chronic is chronos so yeah, I don't know. which is father time and then there's the there's the whole conspiracy with saturn worship and that and how saturn might be the actual you know the demiurge sort of thing controlling reality and using cymatics to create a reality to imprison people. And again, this is all conspiracy mumbo jumbo, but it, yeah, and this here's is what they do. They Rocka, use the Rockefeller, right? At 420. Uh, so this was just some slides from the presentation. Um, but yeah. Yeah, the Smurfs. Well, we were talking about the Smurfs before Cat Williams was. <laughs> we were talking about the homunculus before Cat Williams. Yeah. Yeah, I had some people comment on the video that we did. I'm here because of Cat Williams. Because people want to know about the homunculus, bro. Tell tell my audience what what is a homunculus? Because Cat Williams recently went on Joe Rogan and mm -hmm. talked about the homunculus. 
And you've been the leading homunculologist expert. The last living homunculologist, yes. 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 Uh, so tell us a little bit. He was saying that the Smurfs were homunculus. Uh, what, what is, what's a homunculus and what's all this about? So a homunculus, which Crowley wrote about as well, right? And this whole concept of moon children and whatnot. But the homunculus is a, an artificially created magical man. And I know that sounds really far-fetched, but we know that there is cloning. Cloning is illegal in a lot of states. So if something is impossible, why would it be illegal, right? So they've recently created entities and labs without a father or mother. And this is essentially what these alchemists were doing back in the 16th century and earlier. And they were writing entire books on how to do this. And the way that this plays into the mainstream media and pop culture is that a lot, in my opinion, a homunculus has been boiled down to having somebody be born on a certain time, date, astrological alignment to, to show certain attributes of that astrological alignment. So you have the Kardashians doing surrogate births you, and you have them bragging about their kids being a certain astrological sign. So a homunculus is a, essentially a blood and bones talisman because they weren't just using it as their little helpers, they were doing other things, use your imagination and all this other stuff with the different gates that we've had, and these different conspiracies. I think all that plays into that donut. And I think that they're used for that and a lot of other things. So an artificially created entity in, a, in an alchemical lab is a homunculus, and it's been boiled all the way down to Moon Children, which Crowley wrote extensively about, which was what inspired Parsons to bring it full circle to NASA to do his Babylon working with L. Ron Hubbard in the desert to bring forth this scarlet woman, the, the, the Babylon, which is the, the goddess of the Thelemic system. Some people say he succeeded. Some people believe he succeeded. Some people believe that he brought in an entire new age, the hippie peace and love movement, right? Oh snap! Yeah, so that's that whole thing that he that he did, and some other people think like, no, he left a portal open, and that's when you had Roswell right after that, nineteen forty seven, which for the people that believe in aliens, because I know aliens for some people are fake and gray, yeah. But I think that there is something more malleable about reality, and I think that these concepts have existed since the beginning of time. Those are, that's why there's a historical record because it's been a phenomenon, even if it is a phenomenon on certain substances that are mind altering and people are hallucinating. There's something to be said about these archetypes that ring true throughout all of history. So that, that's my opinion, right? To rule it off as, yeah, no, it's fake. All right, sure. Well, you know, if you go back to the, the news section, there's some, some uh, on the left, cause these are old slides. Um, this one. Yeah. So I'm not sure if you remember, but it was a terrible, tragedy that happened in easter um something about easter there's a lot of tragedies happened at this time and it's not just right now it's like a season i don't know when the season of sacrifice starts and ends i think it ends on the illuminati day may 1st um i'm gonna have to double check that but clinton and obama said easter worshipers because they want to call them christians they would call them easter worshipers yeah so there was really? this tragic event in sri lanka and what was this? This was years ago. Um, 2019 feels like years ago. Um, but just yesterday, some more Easter worshipers, uh, wow, yeah, fell off a bridge. So, I mean, this is just pattern recognition that I'm pointing mm -hmm. out. I'm not saying it's a ritual or nothing, but it's uh, pattern recognition right there. And this eclipse that be coming up, we're going to be able to see something called the Devil Comet, right? It used to be called the Millennium Falcon, but now it's called the Devil Comet. They changed its name because it's going to make devil horns during the eclipse. You'll be able to see it during the eclipse, the what? devil horns. Yeah. And if you look at the predictive priming through the Mountain Dew, uh, Mountain Dew has a pitch black. And in that pitch black, which means like a blackout, right? Like grid down they got the devil comet in it wow so uh you're saying what's going to happen i don't know uh we're looking at a lot of different things you got trillions of cicadas are going to be emerging 
trillions of cicadas. Uh, I guess I don't know much about cicadas, but yeah, do I? But it's such a weird animal. And weren't they telling us to eat those things? Do we have any in Florida? I wonder if we have any in Florida. Well, if you guys want to survive the dopocalypse, I, I recommend <laughs> getting a cricket cricket farm and eating crickets because <laughs> you just get, you get a couple of crickets, you give them some cardboard and whatever, and then they just mate each other and you just keep eating them. I mean, they're delicious if you put like some Tabasco on them or fry them. Is that why you got me a scorpion lollipop? That was just because I'm from Arizona and that's what we do in Arizona. We eat scorpion and rattlesnake. I didn't know my son was going to eat it, but I don't think your son was going to eat it. But then he was like, yeah, was it on. It. yeah, that was tight. <laughs> Shout out to the little homunculus. But wow. this is what's crazy, dude, is like that one to eight bridge collapsing mm -hmm. on this channel. We've been saying there's going to be a bridge to collapse connected with. Did this. you did you? So I texted you that one day. Did you talk about that on on the three two two special show that we talked about? Did I ask you what do you think is going to happen? You said watch out for the bridges Probably, and then a few days I after know. i think so bro because some people were commenting on on my thing like donut predicted it so i've we been have talking to go about back. for years and years i got another slide up here i mean tommy as well me and tommy we've been saying there's going to be a bridge collapse connected to this number one two eight we were pointing towards the san francisco bridge on like one two eight right mm -hmm. but another bridge collapsed at one two eight because they were listening to the don't don't factor that's why <laughs> i don't think so i don't think so because the the twin towers collapsed or started to collapse at 10 28 and in numerology you always remove the zero so it would have been one two eight but here's the leave the world behind poster and as you can see this is about a ship getting cyber incidented and crashing and you can see it says one two eight right here, December eighth. It's one two eight. That is also a day that the Fern Hollow Bridge collapsed Whoa. on one two eight. So it's just like things collapse with this number, and this bridge just collapsed. Somebody recently. said I heard today that three bridges collapsed in the same day. Is that true? Probably. I heard some stuff too. But I'm in Florida, you know, hanging with the Astro Chads <laughs> and the homologists themselves. <laughs> Did you did you get on a Boeing, bro? On a what? <laughs> did you get on a Boeing? On a I was on a I was on the airplane. Was it a Boeing? I don't know. Bro, you gotta check that before like you're and you're like about to take off. I'm like, it was big. hope it's not a Boeing, bro. It was big. Because I think American Airlines uses Boeing. Yeah, it was nice. What what it, I mean it was shaking. I was pretty sure yeah. it was going down, but besides <laughs> that, like we were taking off, it was all shaking. It did the engine turned off, it sounded like no, and I was dude. like, no way. I, I hear they're giving us I, I seen a meme where it's like I hear they're giving discounts if you if you volunteer to hold the door shut <laughs> the whole ride. So out of all the planes that fly by every single day, I wasn't worried, but I was a little worried. <laughs> yeah, because you're coming to Florida, bro. I'm glad you made it here safe. We're here in the flesh live. We got over 2,000 people watching us right now. Oh, dude. damn. We crossed through that 2,000 mark. Smash that like button. Share the video out. Also, chosenjuan.com for issue two of the Chosen Juan comic book series. Donut's going to be on the next one. I want to make Donut, Donut Man. And so, yeah, Alex Stein, Sam that. Tripley, all that stuff is on there. So make sure to check that out, chosenjuan.com. I think we're about to hit $3,000 if we haven't already hit $3,000. And over uh, close to 40 backers right there, 28, 34. So check that out, chosenone.com and show some love. Because once we get that one done and we get issue three rolling, you'll see Donut in. And we also have a we have a 322 tier that will put you in the comic as a character. So people can check that out. Chosenone.com. I got that. me a copy of this one right here. I'm gonna get Alex to sign it. Like uh everybody i got juan's link down below go subscribe to his youtube channel he brings the heat he, he does his research on topics like none other he reads these books he doesn't just read books he translates books that people can't read and give you the information he translates i can't them. even read i mean he can't even read them he translates <laughs> them with some sort of ai i don't know how you do it but he brings the heat and this i got his comic book down below go get yourself a copy for me i got Donna, happy birthday bro thank you almost forgot yeah, i just saw people saying happy birthday in the chat thank you very much happy birthday
Thank you. But I got this one because I like to get the the special editions. Like hey. Side. hey, hey, and also since we're plugging, I'm celebrating my one year release. Oh, I already plugged it of Game and Wicked Smile for Dummies. Okay, so I play honestly, it? yeah, I play it, bro. Because I think to, you got to play it. Listen, that helped me, bro. That I like, I watched that and it helped me. <laughs> yeah. So, because I'm part of the Patreon too, I support. Oh, yeah. So that helped me. So people got to check it out to get Wicked Smile. And where's it at? Is that the one that we were trying to play earlier? Yeah, it's on the right, but you might have to rewind it. On the right. This Lord. was a year ago. Oh. So this is before I was Wicked Smart. Is it this one here? Yes. The entire governmental, govern the mental, public schooling. Yeah, yeah. But it's, you got to play the beginning of it. You don't have to play the whole video. Bro, look at your hair. What is up with your hair, dude? I was a mess. There you go. What up? It's Donut, and you tuning in to all your <laughs> Illuminati news. We got an amazing lesson for you today. Oh my goodness. A lot of connections are going to be broken down tonight on Becoming Wicked Smart. We here at the Donut Factory are going to get wicked smart. How the Illuminati indoctrinated the public schooling system to make us wicked dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that graphic, bro. I hired a graphic artist for that. My boy's wicked smart goodwill. Hunting. The entire governmental, govern the mental, public schooling system was fabricated to crush your imagination and turn you into a dummy. <laughs> Remember what we told you, right? Sit it's down like and be awarded with your PhD, coward. which was a creation of the Illuminati, the PhDs. The educational hierarchy of a good A plus student, aka servant, is based off a do not question authority. Remember what we told you and write it down. Creating a generation of smiling depressives that are servants for the serpent elite. A true idiocracy has been born systematically. A recent study shows Americans are growing more and more dumber yeah so that was like uh that was just that, that's the, the wicked war spot. for control over the mind was accomplished not through weapons What's but up? through the influence yeah. and pop yeah it's a three-part series yeah yeah and also the one that you did for the the youtube series was that part of the that was part of the wicked smart too right <laughs> which one the one that you're teaching like how to do the thumbnails and the video oh and that? no that was a different one that's the online course online secrets is that public no oh private. come on dude that's private information only was that not supposed, patreon was i not supposed to say that <laughs> members only no you can say it that one was sick too bro that yeah i was teaching people how to make thumbnails and titles so your video will go viral yeah which again it's it, only ten dollars tell me i mean it's like i should charge two hundred dollars yeah you should because it's good info yeah trust me like when i started implementing those tactics on my videos and my thumbnails my retention and viewership went up like it's crazy yeah i've got over a decade of uh i made videos for christopher amtv and i made the thumbnail so i tested it out on audiences of a hundred thousand views per video so i have like i've done it uh yeah, get closer to the mic bro okay. i've done i'm gonna buy you you can bring it in bro okay yeah, I know you're not used to I'm it. I'm not but, used to this. Yeah, so I didn't want. I, I don't. I don't know what. <laughs> you sound good though, bro. This you look. Cool. You look way better than me. Like I'm so. Like I spent so much time <laughs> before <laughs> the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I spent so much time. Look at that, dude. But it it was the face scrub. It was the face scrub you it did. It wasn't a face, dude. My face looks terrible in real life. It's your lighting, bro. It's all about lighting. Ask any video producer. They'll be like, it's all about the lighting. I will you did the light No, I ain't swear. I ain't seen that scene. <laughs> I have a career. I look I look, uh, to look after. I look ragged right now. <laughs> no, actually, to to be real though, um, online secret for everybody who wants to build an online business. If you make it like wands, your videos will do better if you actually did it like that rather than right here, which is weird to say, but it's true. I mean, all my videos are garbage, so. No, your so. videos are great. I'm just talking like this is like scientifically proven yeah. that the more raw and rugged it is. That's why all these like really mainstream artists like uh, 
mainstream YouTubers, let's say with, I'm not going to say names, but big mainstream subscribers, million plus views. They didn't start off with the good lighting. They started off with the bad lighting. We got the MAGA reptilians here in Florida. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah, so it's late here in Florida, but it's early for Time me. Is, oh, it's often 30. We got a long day tomorrow, bro. It's going to be a very long day. And was it two hours away? We're probably going to be out. We're going to probably come back tomorrow. Leave out, what, 12 in the afternoon and get back at probably 3 in the morning. So, Yeah, we're going to be... We, we're gonna be at the Tripoli event, Sam Tripoli. Yeah, let me find that. Let me find out exactly where that's at, so I can let people know they want to check it out. So yeah. if you're in Central Florida and you want to go check us out tomorrow, we'll be doing stand up tomorrow, opening for Sam Tripoli. It's at the Joke Joint in Summerfield, Florida. So you can go to JokeJoint.tv and check that out. We'll be there tomorrow. Five is the live podcast, and the show is at eight. So if you want to want to meet Donut in the flesh, Paranoid American, Project Cheney, Nephilim Death Squad, Sam Tripley, and a whole bunch of other content creators that I've never worked with, but I've seen them around. They're also going to be there. So to make sure to check that out, Joke Joint at Summerfield, Florida. We can't see the screen, but that's by on purpose. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, let me hold on, let me pull it here. Got so Joke many joint. things on here, bro. What is this? And it's next to the my mom said it was next to the STD capital of the world. <laughs> That's what my mom told me. So I hear joke joint. Uh, here's the address. It'll oh, be somebody tomorrow. says I'm a I'm an Adam Sandler David Arquette hybrid clone. And a funny story, I actually ran into david arquette when i was in living in california and i was like bro aren't you that guy like i didn't say aren't you that guy i was like bro you look like that dude in c spot run or something like that <laughs> <laughs> and he's like oh, yeah. and then i saw danny trejo as well is down at Venice beach yeah 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 yes, he's cool yeah i, I did him. that i did that episode weston cage and he worked with him on a movie Mm -hmm. so it was like a western movie yeah who else i see that's famous i'm gonna see sam tripoli tomorrow yeah you're gonna see sam tripoli you, you see me i'm kind of famous too i've seen you the last living homunculologist i'll see you i'll see you dog <laughs> so i've seen oh i met tech nine did you really yeah i was like 12 and he was really nice insane clown posse i was on violent j tour bus with young wicked they didn't diddle you did they no fuck. no f no <laughs> f no <laughs> no no they cool he was telling me how michael jackson was innocent and he was going into it like before that was out and i was like cool i was scared so speaking of the the diddler he was i think spotted oh, in, p diddy no diddy no no diddy okay he was spotted in they caught his guy here in the do you have anything on that that's pretty, yeah, I got some stuff on it. Not really, but I do. Yeah. So I've been looking into this uh, research called Sampaku Eyes. Everyone in my audience. Let me know which slide you want me to pick up. Is it the one you're moving right now? Yeah. So I've been studying something, a new symbolism nobody's uncovered, but we're uncovering it first here at the Donut Factory. Am I doing this okay? Yeah, you're doing I'm you're, talking okay. You're doing great. Yeah, just put it, bro. You can move it around wherever it's comfortable for you. I know you're not used to having like a legitimate setup and you just. Okay. That okay. Little globe. <laughs> yeah. So the Sampaku eye. What is a Sampaku eye? Well, the Sampaku eye, here's Prince. It's called the three whites. And if you got the three whites underneath, symbolically, trouble's heading your way. Brittany Murphy had this in a lot of her covers. Uh, I'm looking out for Jelly Roll because he also has the Sampaku eyes. And I called the rise to fame of Jelly Roll. Uh, performing at some places and he's wearing the checkerboard floors not i don't think he's aware of it shout out to jelly roll but this is symbolism and i noticed that puff daddy also has the sampaku eyes in the 
uh, images. So uh, predictions of his downfall to come were showing up with the Sampaku with him, just like Notorious B.I.G. is photographed with the uh, Sampaku as well. He was on his label. Does P. Diddy got the Sampaku or does he got some? Yeah, else? he does. He, he, he gets the Sampaku eyes um, for sure right there. Which you're into pop culture. What What is he famous for exactly? Like what? more money, more problems. Mace. Yeah, but how this many? This was big, bro. This was like, this was it. This was before your time. <laughs> yeah, well, it was before my time. <laughs> Bad boy for life. Can't stop, won't stop. Remember? <laughs> That's why. Yeah, no wonder I see people commenting that. <laughs> <laughs> that was Dave Chappelle. Uh, Is that what that was? It was doing but, like a P. Diddy skit? Dave Chappelle did a P. Diddy skit where he does Bad Boy for, for Life. He can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> um but yeah no big he he produced and put out i don't know if he produced but he put out notorious big and if you look at the band issue cover of tupac it uh, illuminati right before he was assassinated he had uh diddy in a dress in the back and uh notorious big doing some stuff that i can't say on here but yeah i don't know so I, I he also had underground tunnels yeah i saw that at his mansion or whatever it was at his house yeah, where the heck did i put the underground tunnels because it wasn't even where was that house at oh uh, yeah it was in california i'm looking for it i don't know where i put it bro how do you do it with the freaking I'm usually organized, but I'm not organized. How do you not X them, X them out like accidentally? I do all the time. Oh, here it is. Diddy's 40 million Los Angeles house has grottos, underwater tunnel, and more. <laughs> it's, just, it's just so like nonchalant. Yeah. Underground tunnel and more. Like that's not like oh, a what's, big deal. what's the more? I mean, does it say? It's got dungeons and it's got a whole bunch of other things. Yeah. So. I don't know. Yeah, I was telling you about that video with the kids and they would go up to the camera and talk about their astrological sign. Right. Which again plays into this whole homunculus thing where I believe, don't I, that there are people specifically let me word this correctly, that are specifically born on certain dates to fulfill certain things. Mm. Now use your imagination. There's I believe some are put into power influential people they become actors actresses influencers rappers all that stuff i think that's all like look at the 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 island boys they're golems bro they got the whole thing on their head island 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 what island well that's the conspiracy like what island and, and last <laughs> night when i was on with old world florida he brought up a good observation that what if the lil Mm -hmm. means that you've been fiddled you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying like that was your initiation i remember hearing that so now it's a lil wayne well you guys brought up lil wayne he said i want to forget about lil wayne because i'm the same way i'm a big wheezy fan me too F baby me too bro but wheezy f baby came out and already um, said that when he was a child look was, at Birdman, bro that whole thing between but, them that but, was weird but wheezy already came out and said that he was fiddled oh did he really yeah oh wow when he was like 12 I this, see. I didn't know that. Yeah, this girl fiddled him. Oh, come on! It's still the same. Yeah, it's still the same. It's not good. Don't do that. Don't do that, people. So, but yeah, that that whole idea of it being an initiation, and then you have the whole. But I mean, who knows if he's? You know what I mean? Like yeah. he said that, but it could yeah. have been a different story. Sure. Yeah. No. For sure. You know, because he's promoted by the Illuminati to prom promote the hair on the lean. He's the biggest lean pusher of any rapper out there. Mm -hmm. You know. And he has to, uh, or if, if he doesn't, he's going to get executed. Cause he was having like seizures and stuff. I remember that he was having like seizures and all that stuff. Cause he was drinking too much of it. And he had an album, I think where he was a cicada. Did he really look something up? like that? Yeah. I'll look it up. Can you hide my screen? Yeah, I can. Yeah. I'll pull it up. Uh, I don't know if it was a cicada, but it looks something like that. Oh man. Let me see this. I think it's like Lil Wayne album. So cicada the whole nickelodeon thing coming I out i'm not well. a human being yeah okay so check this out it's interesting right i'm not a human being well, i'm not a human up. being wait what up 
This wow, is, look at that. So I don't know if there's a connection. Is that there, is that a cicada? Is that? I think so because yeah, it is. And and I think there's even a song called Cicada on here. Because I wonder what like the occult meaning of the cicada is, because there was that whole cicada Maybe cipher that yeah, what is that? Now we gotta know. Does anybody in the chat know what that is? That De- somebody said death moth. That's the monarch butterfly. There you go, bro. M- MK Ultra. U- U- Ultra. Ultra. I, I, somebody told me you can't say it, but yeah, the monarch butterfly is the right. Crowley talked about it as trying to catch souls. The souls were butterflies. The 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 net, the butterfly trap. Oh, look, it's got a skull on it. I'm sure we can do some cryptography or whatever it's called. What's it? stenography? Steno- oh, no, stenography. we can't do it like the goat, bro. We can't do it. <laughs> what, like so, uh, Dark Journalist? Yeah, we can't do it like DJ, bro. Come yeah. On. I want, bro, we got to get him on. He's amazing. Oh, we got to get him on. We going to get him. Dark Journalist, please. We going to get him. Right back to my email. So, yeah, this whole idea of I am not a human being and then the whole MK Ultra thing. And these different altars that plays all into the homunculus. The homunculus plays into this mind control aspect because they're able to program these, right? If you're not a human being, what are you? I'm an entity or something, right? It's like, well, now we're able to program you and load up this different software. And now you do whatever we want. So, and we, and we see all these artists like glitching out. You've seen like the Cardi B where she kind of glitches out where she like stares into space for a second. And you kind of see her like rebooting and then coming back. Mm-hmm. It's like, what's going on there, bro? Yeah, yeah. And Eminem. And I got a video clip for you too. What do you got? So this is a video clip of the boat and the boat that crashed and collapsed the bridge at 128. And there's some interesting symbols on it. Very interesting symbols. You got a 33 right on the front of the ship and a Templar Iron Cross as well. I hope I'm speaking to the mic good. But right there's the Templar Cross right there. <laughs> but this is the interesting thing. You see that three right there? Wasn't the the first clone Dolly the Sheep? Yeah. It's got a Dolly in the front. But you see that three right there? Yeah. Because I saw pictures of this and I wanted to confirm it's real. So you got a three right there. And on the other side, another three right there. So it's uh-huh. 30, it says 33 on the front yeah. of the ship. Look at that. Like, that's kind of weird. It's right? funny because when I went to Tennessee a month, I think it was like last month or something. My flight was flight. I think it was. I, did I tell you? No. So my my driver that was in the shuttle was a free. He had a free. He had a cup, a Freemason cup. Here, let me, Bro, I feel it. like anybody could become a Freemason. I guess. I'll be seeing some. From what from what I heard, they need I, the money. That's what the. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they told me. I'll be seeing some weird people out of Phoenix. And yeah, I'm Thomas would like, be like, bro, you, you can, anyone can get in. They, they really need the money. I'm like, really, bro? Like, maybe these, where he's at, but now we're these, pe- these people Arizona. rule the world and they need the subscriptions. Maybe in Florida, <laughs> but not in Arizona. My flight was like, had a, it was like 3003. My bus driver, my shuttle driver guy had like the whole Freemasonic cup and he, he right, 33. And then what was, there was like one more that, that, and I, it was like a 33 it was i think the total of my of something i bought was like 30 that all in that same day like that same span i was like what in the world so and i don't really get into numerology or anything but what do you think was going on with this ship do you think it was because you kind of told me in the car you thought they probably blew it up i mean oh no the bridge like you got like big podcasts like poo-pooing that theory that the bridge, but I still think that it's true. You can look at the bridge and you can see detonations happening throughout the bridge. I mean, it's right there. Um, I think that the cyber incident took over it, steered it automatically. Mm. Now this is one, it's a brilliant strategic 
attack because it is like the third or fifth largest port for oil and stuff like that really in america yeah uh like it it's gonna put out like hundred thousand jobs or something like that it's gonna uh, uh, you know yeah you know, i was talking to a, a guy who works in shipping and he was telling me all this um i don't know i, w- I wouldn't go as far to say i don't think they they did anything as far to detonate de- detonate it but if you think about it because i've seen the videos right of when they're looking down it does look like an explosion but also we've never seen this happen so like how do you know that what you're looking at is what actually happened if you've never seen it before true again to kind of kind of play devil's advocate no true true right because I, I i'm a skeptic too I, I want you know and this is why we're doing this then like doing the it's, research it's, and and reading and, and studying it, the symbolism yeah yeah I, you know it for sure yeah so and that, that's just my opinion but yeah i didn't know it was going to put out so many jobs and all these different things and now with the how far away are we from the eclipse oh we're like i think like seven eight days away yeah bro or 10 days or something tomorrow's 3 30 so 33 again tomorrow's 3 30 oh tomorrow's 3 30 yeah catch us live i've uh-huh. been doing stand up <laughs> stand up for the first time ever yeah well april 1st is coming up and we've been april fooled april fool's day i don't know if you know a lot about the the date the real history of april fool's day and why it isn't funny anymore i'm kind of i i was studying this and i knew it like a couple years ago like three four years ago i made a whole video but i forget what i talked about but can you pull up the so it's got the 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 ship has dolly on it and this came up last night the salvador dolly mm-hmm. painting yeah where it shows like the the, the bridge uh-huh yeah because that okay, yeah, i'll pull it up yeah because uh, my my keyboard is for some reason is yeah, acting i got up. you dolly thanks bro bridge, really appreciate painting. you hit the, smash that like i really appreciate this great lighting you you brought <laughs> brought me and this great audio this great microphone we got two thousand people watching wherever you're watching if you're on my channel we're we're streaming this to twitter we're streaming it to donuts channel we're streaming it to my youtube we're streaming it to facebook i'm on twitch too both facebook's your facebook and mine everywhere we're everywhere today so hit that like wherever you are share the show helps the show out gets the word out and yeah so you want to pull up your screen uh one second um i'm kind of angry i don't look as good as you tonight bro i know you are you got that i'm i don't know breaking in the teleprompter and everything i know bro i know i know but we could just put this as an audio yeah after yeah we'll release it just audio no one will know the difference (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> uh yeah you can bring the screen up yeah you got I the got florida it. somebody said you got the florida glow tonight i'm telling you bro i'm telling you bro. the I air don't... is different here in florida and <laughs> so people so people know it's real you got that look at this look at this guy glowing look at him i'm not glowing it's the lighting you got the nice mic you got the headphones in bro i'm just happy to see my friend juan yeah this bro, is my first time dude. hanging out with juan in person you're playing so. mario deluxe or we're, we're playing Mario Deluxe, bro, eating sandwiches. My sons were harassing you. <laughs> They're cool. They're really cool. So, yeah, dude. Awesome, bro. Yeah. It's always weird to meet somebody that you've been interacting with. But this is this is today's age, right? Like, right. You, it is weird that you're you you interact with so many. I've met so many people because of the podcast. But I my wife always makes fun because I tell, yeah, all my friends are in the, in the computer. You know, like <laughs> they're all in the computer. Yeah right virtual friends or whatever and it's like right when you're when you're doing a podcast in person or whatever it is it's it's a different atmosphere it's a different feel and you can you can read the cues better Mm -hmm. over versus like you know when we do it over stream yard or whatever it is Mm -hmm. so well what's your thoughts like i feel like juan on screen and juan in real life is the same and i feel like i'm a little different in real life than on screen i turn on like yo you know i get all I th- bro, I think you're the same. Obviously, when we are, that's something that I've always talked about. I'm I'm the same on screen, off air, you know, on air, off air. Like I like to, I'm as authentic as I can be, right? So, the and the thing when you're doing these shows like this, you have to not put on a persona, but you have to get in a sort of character 
in order to be entertaining or else people aren't going to watch and they're not going to tune in. Yeah. So, you know, being a little bit different and having different mannerisms, pronouncing things differently, it's going to happen because that's just the way the entertainment works. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, bro. Yeah, so this is that painting though right up. here. That's that bridge painting by on, Salvador here. Dali. There you go. And they said, you know, this, the, so this was the theory that the subconscious of that you're seeing with Salvador Dali, which could be just a total, just a hoax right there. You know, like, does anyone subconscious look like that? Somebody, <laughs> somebody said Dali's a goddess. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Somebody, but, somebody also said I'm not gay anymore. <laughs> but Salvador Dali, the name of the ship was called Dali, right? And Salvador Dali wrote this broken bridge dream and the dream in this. So that's interesting. But I've been talking about Salvador Dali's geopoliticus child watching the birth of a new man. Whoa! Because we were going over egg rituals uh, with Rihanna being pregnant, and here's this man being born out of America. Uh, the androgynous uh, woman with the short shadow and the kid has the long shadow. Um, and I've been saying this is important for the year back in like 2023. And now people are pointing out how this is important for 2024, which is interesting because Salvador Dali went to the Rothschild ball surrealist party. And I uncovered something interesting about these photos is that they are surrealist paintings. So here's Salvador Dali. Um, this is the picture that they took of Salvador Dali. Let me pull it up. But the, the photos themselves are surrealist paintings. So the photo is a painting. If that doesn't if that's not making any sense. The the picture they painted the background. Look, that's a Marilyn Monroe kind of face behind right yeah um her hands we figured this out on the paranoid american podcast her hands look like it's invisible but he has like cards and she's like dealing invisible red cards and they're here so this picture that they took the picture is a surrealist painting but in picture form i thought that was a cool find because mm -hmm. i don't think anybody's ever he was so baller bro he had an anteater as like he would walk around with an anteater yeah, and Lil Dicky had an ant eater. Speaking of Lil's, and oh, he named his ant he had eater, a show, didn't he? Yeah, but he named his ant eater AA. Alistair Crowley's AA. Damn, bro. Yeah, we did that show. Remember with that dude? I don't remember. The Cyclops. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't remember what we talked about though. Yeah, we done so many up. so many shows, bro. So hit that like. Subscribe. Hit that like button. All that good stuff. What else you got, bro? Oh man, these are all the slides. Um let me pull it up. Just a bunch of stuff. I gotta tell Can we talk about that? The the face phenomenon that's going on? That's really interesting. Yeah, tell me about you, it. You did you did a podcast on it. You tell me about it. Yeah, okay. So I did a podcast with Paul, Understanding mm -hmm. Conspiracy, Nephilim Clowns. He's known for the Nephilim Clowns and that podcast on his channel but he came up with a a very interesting thing that i i kind of have been thinking about a lot since he said it but there's this new rare nightmarish phenomenon morphs others faces into demons so some people have a phenomenon where when they look at people there's not a lot of information on it but they see a demon face when they look at people if they look at a picture of them, it's not. But when they look at people, there's a demon face. And they're saying this is some sort of like neurological thing. But they don't get into like, is it everybody looks like that? Or is it just certain people? Like yeah. they don't they don't really get much into it. But what he's hypothesizing, and I don't want to quote him, but what I heard, and I, I hear what I want to yeah. hear a lot of the times. What I heard is that that girl seeing people on a plane seeing things seeing people morphing into demon creatures right just like this things coming out now is all hyping us up for like the breaking down of like they live like that movie they live mm -hmm. and think about cern opening up the portals the eclipse 
What if people start seeing demon faces <laughs> and they're just warming people up saying, oh, yo, that's just a neurological thing you got going on. But really, there could be demons. I don't know. That's that, but, but right here is interesting, too, of the eclipse, the trifecta of evil. Oh, that's right. When they took out John Wayne Gacy, who was like a Nephilim clown with the 33 boys. I mean, it gets even weirder and deeper than that. Um but they baptized Jeffrey Dahmer when they executed him on an eclipse. Mm -hmm. So that's like, yeah, no, see, I remember you talking about that. And, and Dahmer is one of those that, that has been in the media so much. So, so many different documentaries over the same thing. Like why you, we, I feel like I know Jeffrey Dahmer more than some of my own family sometimes, right? Like, like <laughs> there's so much information on him, but the concept of that lady on the plane, which, Stein did an episode with her too, right? Like it was, she was and then it didn't look like her. Well, I was gonna say that she, she, she like switched her mind up real quick after they they found her after all that time that she wasn't around for whatever reason. After they found her, they she's like, oh, I was just actually it was all a publicity stunt and this and that. It's like, was it? Because think about it, snakes on a plane. What year was that? Interesting. I've never seen that movie. Never seen that movie? Yeah, what happens in it? There's snakes on a plane. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes, <laughs> that makes sense. But but the whole concept of because if you go back to those pictures, they kind of look like reptilians. Right? The <laughs> the <laughs> they, do look like they look like rept bro, they look like reptilians. Like, think about it. And I was talking to my wife about this where certain people who are evil, like evil people, they start to, and I'm not saying that these people are evil, but evil people they start to show that starts to manifest like on on their body like themselves right like they the, a person starts to look evil sometimes like look at the the, the guy that recently had the rothschild you can't tell me that dude was was it like he looks mr like, burns yeah 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 exactly he looks like a freaking husk of a person emptying a soul it's like because it starts to show on their character you can only hide it for so long now i'm not Let's just spitball here, but maybe this is part of like, oh, this whole NPC like, idea where there's some people here for texture, but those people might be. Think about it, right? We're talking about Nephilim. Well, when the, the origins of evil, because this is a, a book that Lumpkin, I've had him on. He wrote that entire that those are the, his encyclopedia. And I've got, got a whole bunch of books of his, but nice. the he wrote a book called The Origins of Evil, and it is about the origins of what we call like demonic phenomenon poltergeist and what that was was the spirits of these nephilim that were killed off during the flood energy cannot be created nor destroyed it can only be transformed so they went from a body to this etheric version and guess what they're pissed off so that's where we get these demonic entities from from these entities that got destroyed during the flood and they're very 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 mad that they were destroyed and that's why they try to possess people and get into people. Well, what if some, again, I know it's controversial, but what if there is people here to just fill that role? Because that's part of the homunculus donut. Mm. Part of the homunculus lore is that they are vessels for entities. Now, take a wild guess as to who created, who, take a wild guess as to who passed down alchemy to man. The Nephilim. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, the, the origins of alchemy is the the watchers passed it on and taught it to the daughters of men in exchange for pleasure, right? Sex. Uh -huh. And that's where we get that from. That's where we get the idea of makeup. They taught women the arts of makeup. That's part of the lure. So oh, wow. what a better way. Probably, I, I don't know if he went into that, but have you talked to him? Because no, he I goes haven't. into the clown makeup. Right? Well, there you right. go. So then that, and that, that was a connection I had made when I'd seen him. I've seen some of his stuff. That was a connection I made. It was like, makes perfect sense. But also, it makes perfect sense that these entities would have a backup plan. When it came, they maybe they knew they were going to be destroyed. So like, here, let me teach the secrets to humans. Therefore, they can create these homunculi or these vessels later on, and I can inhabit that vessel. Oh, snap. Because he was talking about that, too. He says that certain clothes you wear, like they're pushing certain yeah. outfits, and those outfits can get and like and i was telling him that's exactly what happens like if i put on like 
a, a rap chain, right? You know, like if I had a chain, it's like LARPing. To, yeah, yeah. I'll be a different person. It's regalia. You know? It's it's what they were like. The Freemasons wear the different regalia and all right. these different secret societies. That's why Crowley wore all the fancy outfits because it's about how you're saying. And it again, we can debate on this, but the idea of it being. Well, you, you were talking to me about what was it that that book that you read on the plane can we talk about that yeah i was bit? reading uh the book that uh uh what's his name i don't know his name <laughs> andrew tate andrew tate's cult oh, right. the one of the leaders of it recommended this book that for favorite. everyone to read what's the name of it it's called, it's by Richard Bandler. It's called The Structure of Magic. And it was from a video. So I don't know. I don't know Andrew or anybody in, in that, you know, but there was, a, there's a video on YouTube that the guy saying I was like the head of the cult uh, and I made people read. It. I don't know. I, I could be paraphrasing. I don't want to like. But it was about the concept of. It's this book called The Structure of Magic. Psychologically putting yourself in this state of mind. So think about when you are talking about getting into character and stuff like that. Well, some people, the goat, Nick Cage, uh, he calls it, uh, I want to say it's Chauval shamanism. I could be saying it wrong or something like that, where he becomes the character. So he would paint his face and do all this stuff to invoke this almost witch doctor. Like who's this Nick Cage. Oh, Nick. Yeah, what's up, Nick? Yeah, what's up? what's up? So he talked oh, about. Clown right there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, with the. Bro, if we had more time, we could have gone a medieval bro, times. Bro. Your setup is so sick. So the concept of getting into character, they would. He, he talked about the, the witch doctors were the first actors because they were invoking things into themselves to portray this message. So the idea of dressing yourself up in these certain clothing. You might be putting yourself in a psychological state, even unknowingly, to invoke these entities. And in. now I'm not saying. Well, think about me, bro, being a juggalo. You know, I was wearing the, the gear and I felt ready for battle when I wore it. I'm like, you know what? When I got the hatchet man chain. Do they on, have a, a. Oh, that's all about clowns, too, bro. It's all about clowns, right? You paint yeah. your face and then you feel unstoppable. And then you just go cause ruckus. Well, I was actually listening to. Insane comp posse with Paranoid American on the way to where'd I go? Where'd I go last weekend with Paranoid American? I went somewhere with him. We went, where the heck did we go? You went on that long walk on the beach. No, not that time. Florida not that beach. time. Where the heck did we go? <laughs> Anyways, we did something where we were in the, in the, oh, we went to the Bach Tower, Florida. Oh, that's right. The Old World Florida meetup. This How did that go? It was amazing. Can I, you tell us about that? I'll pull up some images. Yeah. So we went to the Old World Florida Bach Tower meetup. Let me know when you want me to pull it up. You know what? I, I could pull up a, the video we did of it. Of what? We did a video on Bach Tower. Did we really? Yeah. Golly, bro. <laughs> We call it a homunculus trolls. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So we went to Bach Tower Gardens in Lake Wales, Florida. It is the highest peninsular point in Florida, and it's on Iron Mountain. And it's this tower that they created. It's got all these bells in it, bro. It's got the largest library of that sort of bell literature. So that that, that type of bell, it's called a Carolyn. Uh, Carolyn which is like this intro. It looks like a piano, but it's a bunch of bells. There, there's a there's a bell in there that weighs 23 tons, bro. It's a huge bell in there. And we went and we walked around. We did some commentary. And it was really cool. It was, again, awesome meeting people that, and I've met long ago before, but I met some other people that I hadn't met in person there this past weekend. And it's good to connect with people and talk to them face to face and not behind a camera because you can only get so far. What's that? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. I don't hear the audio. Oh, we don't need the audio. That's fine. But yeah, we did that because of that troll movie that came out. That's yeah. an OG video, bro. OG video. Yeah. But you went over all of this. Yeah. Yeah. And the idea is that Disney... that's where we are right now, right? No, it's Disney. I think that might be Disneyland. But yeah, we have Disney World, which is the most magical you place. This map on right Earth. here. 
This is the uh Is that Disneyland or Disney World? I think that's that's an old map, but that's the that it's the key right here that you mm -hmm. see like at the Vatican or a lot of places. Like the the structure, the way they build this all is very um thought out. Yeah, Pythagorean palaces. So it's about the idea of using architecture to raise consciousness in the same way that you can do that you can oh, here it is. lower consciousness but this, yeah, my, this is the bach tower right here yeah yeah we, bro next time you come we have to come with more time i want to go so and bad we got to do like a florida road trip documentary vlog type of thing bro that's back when i was young <laughs> <laughs> what, what what year did we do this in because i what year was that Oh, it was like two years ago. Was it? Like, yeah, you uploaded it later. Yeah, I uploaded it later because that was for the... It was a Patreon video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. We, we get Wicked Smart, patreon.com slash the one-on-one -on -one podcast. Yeah. We get Wicked Smart. Wicked Smart. That, that was a good video. Bro, that was a great video. Bro, we, bro, we're only heavy hitters, bro. That's all we put out. And that's the thing. We put it out that one time and people couldn't enjoy it. And then we move on to the next thing. <laughs> so yeah so you're speaking of mr burns and the rothschild mm -hmm. there's a simpsons episode i gotta revisit it but i guess it's predicting the eclipse as well and there's been other eclipses too don't it? you know yeah it's an important it's an important thing what is this what this is you? just cern large hard on collider <laughs> october 6th uh the 2024 run is on schedule to end on 1028 which is 128 of course um the first fixed target physics will start eastern time on march 22nd which is 322 mm -hmm. followed by other stuff and the ps booster will start on the eclipse april 8th Followed by the SPS North area on April 10th. Those are the days. Those are the days, though. 8, 9, 10, when Crowley yeah. Yeah. summoned Iwas. So, the, yeah, when he got in contact and had a download and they wrote the Book of the Law. So there's definite, I think that these people are tapping in. They're tapping into something, right? An energy. It's all right. about the manipulation. It's crazy. Of it. Yeah. <laughs> Them demon faces are going to be apparent, probably. And how easily can they blame it on... Hey, it's an adverse effect, right? About some uh, of something, maybe, right? Because the interesting part about a phenomenon it could be an adverse effect of something. Yeah, good one. <laughs> yeah. No, but that whole, you but know, but no, that's what they're going to say. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, without saying it, because yeah. apparently that kind of stuff still gets pulled from from YouTube. But everyone knows what I'm talking about. You're looking good in the shop, bro. No, dude. No, yeah, you look no. good. So the. What a better thing to blame it on than that, dude. Because oh, a phenomenon is something that happens that can't be explained. There's people who see numbers, don't it? There's people who see colors. That they, that they see uh, the, the, the numbers and colors pop up in their vision. Like the Matrix, you know, when you see the numbers coming down green like that. There's people who actually see that. I see weird stuff. And they don't know why it happens. You so, see weird stuff? I talked about for a while... I haven't seen it in a little bit, but I was talking about that sometimes in the corner of your eye for for a little while I was seeing shadows. I still see them. You still see them? Yeah. Do I'll they talk to you too? No. <laughs> no, I will not let that happen. So I'd be moving. And it's interesting because Do they talk to you? No, they don't talk to me. The the speed of light, Donut. Right. There was this other guy I went on Tim Fly who was talking about how the speed of light is decaying. Oh. So think about that. He was talking about that during biblical times, the speed of light was way faster than it is now. And that's why things were more supernatural and, and things just look differently. And that's why these, these biblical patriarchs were having such supernatural experiences. And think about if it's slowing down, maybe these other realities that we don't perceive since they're being slowed down, we're perceiving them now. And that's what we're seeing. Mm -hmm. and, and when I, and I said that on a few shows, pretty big shows, and I had people emailing me, dude, telling me that the same thing was happening to them. 
And I'm not one to be like, yo, I'm seeing ghosts. And like, no, dude, I'm a skeptic. Like, I'm one of probably one of the biggest skeptics you'll ever meet. And that's why I do so much research. Cause I want to be able to either pinpoint or prove or disprove something. So that's why I'm 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 doing as much research as I'm doing. I'm translating text and trying to get to the actual source material of certain things to read for myself. Like, what was that person trying to say? So by me saying that, by me stepping outside of my comfort zone and saying that, bro, I've never really known of anything supernatural happening. I did see a UFO in my backyard one time. I've seen all of Los Angeles turned green. <laughs> what? I was driving down to 405. Not Los Angeles, but out going out of Los Angeles. I don't know. I've never been over there, bro. So. L- Los driving. Angeles, the angles, the, the angels. I swear, bro, I'm driving. It's like 2 a.m. Not many people on the road. Three people around me on the freeway, which is like a congested highway. So, and then whoosh, the whole place turns green for a quick second. And then I went home and I've been Googling ever since what was this. And the only logic my cousin was like, oh, it was a transformer. And I started looking into transformers. Oh, this got to explain the phenomena. But it's not because the transformer wouldn't like the whole place was green. Like the whole, my whole vision from this right side to the left side. So that was crazy. That was weird. Here in Florida, we One have time my my cat grew into a, a nine <laughs> foot tall, three three four hundred pound creature. Can you call Chan right now, dude? What do you think he's doing? You think he misses you? Call this mom, bro. You should get. You should get. I can't call him right now because there's uh, a bowl, bro. There's like a like a like an animal camera that goes on the bowl or something like that. And you know, me and Chan are about freedom. You know, yeah. I don't want to invade on his <laughs> privacy. <laughs> but you, know? you, you don't know if he's throwing some cat parties or something right now, you know, and they're doing stuff that they're not supposed to be doing. You got to keep an eye on him, dude. I'm telling you, he works for he on the CIA yeah. and the, the Illuminati. The cats in action. Yeah. Kitty, kitty. So, yeah. no, dude, when I, when I said that, a lot of people hit me up and they're like, dude, I'm experiencing the same thing, blah, blah, blah. What do you think it is? And I'm like, listen, I'm just saying. I, I'm not saying. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying that was, that was like, I'm just sharing an experience because it happened so many times where I'm like, all right, this is kind of weird, but you know, it is what it is. And so, yeah, dude. Oh yeah. This is crazy too. Just some more one, two, eight stuff that the bridge collapse and leave the world behind at one twenty eight minutes in. Wow. Yeah. And that movie allegedly had like seven different tracks. I think we talked about that on my show. You hear about that seven different tracks had like seven different tracks and one of them was like a subhertz sort of oh yeah so using like sound seven different sounds like there was hidden sounds in the movie yeah yeah right and that the that one article you pulled at the beginning right what that that secretly what was it that secretly rules our universe or something like that so think about that like sounds like using occulted sounds mm-hmm. to manipulate the audience essentially that's nuts that's nuts bro so we got uh, yeah here's 50 cent 50 50 centavos this is cinco zero cento <laughs> was that good no it was terrible oh. uh i don't know what do you guys think i think i'm shot to 50 i do not want to be mad al- at me an altar or something bro what is that it looks like to me when I saw this, I was like, checkerboards, two pillars, altar. What's he reading? Hmm. And but he's he's kind of been one that he's like a troll, right? He he like trolls everybody. He's a gangster. But he kind of stays out of like the he stays enough in the limelight. He just recently came back in because of the whole Diddy thing with his baby mom. Well, they're in competition. Uh Ciroc is Puff Daddy's alcohol brand, and uh, 50 Cent has another alcohol cognac brand. So they're in business competition. So to eliminate uh, P. Diddy is necessary for business purposes. It's not personal. Is is that would that be considered spirits? 
Yeah, it's spirits. It's destruction of the Kang moral society. No, no, but think about <laughs> wine and spirits. Like Ciroc. Is Ciroc a spirit? Oh, it's Ciroc, like the name a spirit? No, no, like the the, the Yeah, substance. it's an alcohol. Right? So mm-hmm. think about that wine and spirits and, and the idea of drinking. You know that the word for for altar in Sumerian is bar. Mm. And we go to a bar to drink wine and spirits. I say that all the time on my show, and I got that from yeah. Juan. So again, that that whole thing, it's like so share this video out. So when people get come home from their worshiping in the altar at the bar, you open yourself up spirits, for possession. Yeah. The alcohol, the body demon eating, flesh eating. What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh no all i know is i got that nice skin this glow not in real life this freaking guy is and there's kanye with the eclipse and it showed the flooding he was super mad during that performance too because he was having sound issues i'm mad uh, he's also being mk ultra like mind controlled well they the text with him and diddy came up too you saw that no we call him a fed yeah what you didn't see that Uh uh-uh yeah that that happened a while ago he called diddy a fed yeah he said some stuff in the text and he was like you fed and it was like because kanye i'm a big kanye fan by the way i've seen him live like twice and all this so the kanye he says things and they don't take him seriously because he's looked at like oh you know he's crazy no i'm good so he's crazy right so but in hindsight when you look at back at it now he was telling the truth the entire time but people didn't pay attention to him because i think that they do that to discredit people right they make him he had bl- he had blonde hair they were talking about that he was wasn't taking his meds was put in a, a for a while he, they said that he was inside a, a mental institution i remember that well, he was like with the whole Kardashian clan. I mean, he was in deep. He was with Jay Z, and Jay Z's like yeah. with Puffy. Yeah, bro. They're all connected. It's kind of crazy, crazy stuff, man. But it might all also be a facade, too, bro. It might also be like, hey, let's pretend to fight. And oh it, well, he had he does that. Uh, like Kanye does that. So. So yeah, dude, I think that maybe they might it just might be a facade and they're actually all in it together and it's just LARPing, bro. Yeah, it's nuts. Now everybody, you gotta make sure to go. I got the links down below for Juan's comic book. Reserve your issue. And I got his YouTube. Most importantly, go subscribe to Juan's YouTube. I mean, it's incredible. I learned so much over through the homocologist himself, Juan. And I'm here in the flesh with him. Look, that's my hand. I swear, that's my hand. I'm just so excited to to be here with my friend. And it's just awesome. It's just the dopest ever. And I got his comic. Gotta get the comic, too. I mean, it's cheaper than a bag of Skittles. Hey. Hey. Shout out to Alex Stein. Yeah, dude. And once we get this one pumped out, look, we we got a couple. I think, right? We're at 37. Where are we at? Oh, let me refresh it. Let me refresh it. So go there, check it out, and once you know we- what I'll do, I'll put I'm gonna put Juan's uh comic link in the in the description, like in the chat room, and I'm also gonna put my Patreon link hey. up in there too. I get this information early. Support the homologist. Shout out your to boy. the boy. Yeah, to the Patreon because from the Patreon is how I was able to get this lighting. This new mic and the arm and everything for Donut. So we take the money, we pump it right back into the show to bring a better production and bring better sound, bring better everything. So support the show, right? It's only five bucks. You can start at five bucks a month and you get hours and hours of backlog and content extra each, each week. This might work. I don't know if that works, but I'll put it in the comment. Yeah, I'll put it on my side, too. But we appreciate your support. We got lots of people in here. We had over 2,000 people. We've been, we're streaming this. This is the homuncologist set. So if you're on my this channel. This is the homunculus like, headquarters, bro. If you're wondering, what, why is this guy talking so much on Juan's show? It's no, I get it. because 
I'm streaming it on my show. And why is uh, Donut like in a fancy, fancy studio? Well, that's because we're streaming this on one show. So if you're confused about that, that's what we're doing. It's all good, about. bro. It's all good. Yeah, it is. Anything else? No. And we'll see you at Sam Tripoli tomorrow. Yeah. So make sure to check us out yeah, for those in Florida. The joke joint. We will be there tomorrow. And I think it's going to be a packed house. It's going to be packed. I don't, I don't do well with public speaking, bro. You know, but, more people would rather die than public speak. It's one of the biggest fears. I don't know if I'd go there that, that far, but I mean, this is bad enough right now. We're in front of a screen. So, yes. <laughs> all right so we'll, we'll see we'll see what happens wish me luck i'll try not to break my leg and <laughs> yeah tj ojp if you want to find me patreon.com slash the one on one podcast all that good stuff Sh- share the show like comment subscribe all that good stuff and can we hit them with that uh that theme song chosen one let me see if i got it yeah we'll end on that chosen one.com let's see if i got it or not all right everybody See you on, hold on, on the other side. Chosenone.com, go visit Chosenone.com, it's easy to remember, if you just sing along. Chosenone.com, go visit Chosenone.com, the chosen one, yes he is the chosen one. Got his own comic, and now he's got his own song. Cause he's the chosen one. Yes, he is the chosen one. Go buy a copy at chosenone.com. Chosenone.com. Go visit chosenone.com. It's easy to remember if you just sing along. Chosenone.com. Go visit chosenone.com.